Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Incoherent Ramblings. I can't say anymore. Uh, yeah, you're right. I can't scare you anymore. Alan! Alan! <laughs> Alan! <laughs> I'm your host, uh, Mr. Happy. I mean, Joey Shamble. <laughs> <laughs> We've also got... Oh, God. <laughs> We've also got... Paul Huntinger. Gail Anderson. And Daryl George. And... and can I call myself Ed's editorial? Yes. Thank you. And Ed's editorial. <laughs> this is episode 44. Our help desk guy. Our Ed editorial, our help desk guy. And uh, we are, are working on the that? Supernatural. Oh, dude, I love that show. It's been on for like... No! Years. A lot of ladies pa- like par- it. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Things that are well, we'll talk about the intro a little bit later. It's one of Stevie Wonder's best. You can reach us at I am. We said that's superstition, not superstition. Yeah, okay, we got it. You can reach us. I didn't find that funny. I'm, I'm yeah, that, that's, I'm that's, that's, what, that's what the title meant. Uh, you can reach us at show at IamRambling.com. Our sponsor today is a double. We're getting a double. Double fisted, baby. Damn it. <sighs> Uh, oh. Extend. Extend the intro. Extend the intro. One more minute. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our, our uh, sponsor. sponsor today is double sponsor. We've got not only Egon from Ghostbusters because it's super nasty, but also Zoom. Oh, yeah, he didn't conduct. He didn't conduct like he did. Yeah, good stuff. There was a lot of going on. Time today, we will have pre-ramble two minutes each, and then following that will be four minutes for each topic on this supernatural. <laughs> now we've got too much time. Supernatural, It's a bar. It's a bar on a camera. You are not a ghost. See a ghost. See an alien. That's my bud. Supernatural. Supernatural. I was in the park and saw a slut. Anyway, we'll watch Doctor Captain Disillusion. Speaking of aliens, I was at Home Depot the other day. So we just lost all the house in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, it's time for the pre-ramble! 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 First uh, section is... Near, 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 near. Prospecting! Prospecting the future with Joey! All right, so my prospecting the future this week... the side of his neck Okay, so my prospecting the future this week is uh, if you use the document on Google uh, Drive, the Word document or whatever it's called, uh, I think it's... Anybody know what that's called? Their version of Word. Their version of Word. Their Word processor. Google Docs, yeah, maybe it's called Docs. Docs. So uh, if you use the spell check on that, it's a it's a smart spell check because I think it's using the Google search the Google search engine, and so like I was doing I was typing Will Wheaton spelled it totally wrong because it's W I L. So like, and no, it told those me, are Wheaties, Joey. Told me how to spell Will W I L Wheaton the right way. So what it's doing is it's taking things like proper nouns and it's if you do a first name and last name, it's actually showing you how to do it. So now hmm. when I'm using it to uh, edit the show notes, and every time I get a name in there, even if it's someone like I. Wouldn't think any anybody would know it all. It's Google search, I guess, right? So it's coming up with a lot of things, even things like uh, uh, Bitcoin. It knows, and even more esoteric than that, though. Uh, I'm trying to think of another one that we had a while back. So it'll stay current. Yeah, and exactly. I'm, I'm assuming it uses the search engine because it says, "Did you mean?" Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. right. well. Quite often, it, even if it messes up in Word. It'll spell. It'll give you the correct spelling if well, you put it in Google. And that's what I think they made the connection to because I always it, use it. Yeah, <laughs> and so well, then that's exactly it. So they must have connected it to Docs. I assume. Oh, so it doesn't work. No, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, oh, I'm whispering into nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank God. Sorry, if you, you don't have it, it'll it'll be echo, 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 over, over. <laughs> Ed's editorial is kind of far from the mic. Yes, Paul. That, Ed's editorial. that was <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Prospect of the future. Go, Paul. <laughs> Word of the week. Today's word of the week is moon landing. I know what it is. You know what it is. I know exactly what it is. I'll I'll Uh, say I know. It's kind of like the Cincinnati bow tie. Only no. No? Okay. No, it's uh, it's got to be with a woman on her hands and knees, and you come up from behind and you launch yourself 
onto her ass. Man, we are oh, that's good. I do like that. That's, that's a is moon good. Landing. That is good. I like oh, that's that. And then you say Armstrong. one small step for my. Yes. I think that's actually called an elephant. F- oh. <laughs> Of course. In the back. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> if I'm right, my hand is it usually happens Time at a gym. Tone. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Go. So a moon landing usually happens at a gym between two guys. Or, yeah, usually yeah. two guys. Okay, go when, ahead. When, uh, let's say, two men are changing clothes in the locker room with their backs to each other and they bend over to pull down their pants, but at the same time, by accident, res- results when their asses touching each other. Oops. So you've landed in your butt cheeks. Oh. That's a moon. I landing. like mine better. <laughs> <laughs> moon! Moon landing. Can you combine That's a moon landing and an Eiffel Tower? You oh, chair. Oh, yeah. I want to be close to the mic. Here, chair, chair. Go, chair. go, go. I want to be close to the mic. Okay. So that was my word of the week. That was quick. Too quick, though, Paul. I know. You're not going to ding for a while. Uh, Crop dusting. Crop dusting. Okay, what is that? Okay. That's when you f- walk and fart at the same time and you spread your fart all over an area. <laughs> I knew that one, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, all right. Only one there minute. we go. Now Crop we can hear you. Cleveland yes. steamer. <laughs> Maybe we only... <laughs> <laughs> is that like a what is clam it? bake or something? Is that related to Stanley? Is it go- I don't know. It's it, don't, it involves not poop. Allowed to look. I know it involves poop, but huh. I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> not like the Cincinnati bow tie. Oh, right. uh... Chocolate goggles. <laughs> no, no, what was the concept that was called? Chocolate. This is getting more and more disturbing. All right, All right. I'm glad that segment. All right. Is yeah, it smells like science. That's great. That's <laughs> All I'm right, glad. my thing on science today is it's called Claytronics. 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 And that puts future in your head. Claytronics. Claytronics. Who gives you robots to commit? Not Clay Chance. Um, Not Clay Chance. Okay, go ahead. Right. I'm sorry, Kilgore. <laughs> I had the same feeling when I read this article about Claytronics as I did about nanotechnology. <laughs> Was it a, a good and feeling? And virtual reality. Which you I get a boner when I saw them, get arrested for walking was around really... with an erection. <laughs> 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 Which was that you really thought it was going to go somewhere? It is going to go somewhere. Oh, okay. Okay. Clay Clay this really right. is going to go somewhere. Claytronics is basically miniature robots that can rearrange themselves. They're nanobots, and they've already been able to assemble them in a way that they know it will work. So they'll be able to use them for many different things, like uh, well, like making a holodeck because then you can have things rearrange themselves into whatever needs to be there was this in with michu kaku's book no i thought he mentioned something like this when he was talking about the holodeck maybe not maybe maybe not anyway the the point is is that they've learned how to uh to take matter and make it intelligent so that it can rearrange itself nice. into many different uh, aspects. So how, how small are the components of this claytronics? Stuff? They're, the, claytronics. they're smaller than blood cells. Oh. See, look at oh. it. That's what they look like. Hey, yeah, guys, look. How do we look so on a bigger than blood cell? Well, it's called have, a yeah, show show notes. Show notes. Yeah, click the link, damn it. <laughs> anyway, so Fire that's, Easter egg. that was my... Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh damn! It does still smells like something. <laughs> <laughs> Did you crop dust that sign? <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. It's all over the place. Uh, uh, something. What? Maybe we should. All right. Maybe we should. <laughs> Minute thirty. All right. all right. Okay, so now it's time for tech talk. Tech talk. Oh yeah, tech talk. <laughs> so with um, who? It's the retard me with Daryl. Daryl. <laughs> tech tech with, talk with Rain Man. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, you're, we're, that uh, it sounds familiar. All right, so Keurig, Keurig, those blood sucking bastards. Keurig. Yes, they're yes. going to introduce DRM in their next generation of coffee brewers. What? But basically, what <laughs> they're going to do? You're kidding me! I didn't understand. You can't, that. You can't listen to your own music. Keurig, <laughs> which is the popular, you know, brew a little pot of coffee. Oh, okay, right? yeah, I've seen okay. those. Okay. They're overpriced for little pots. Tips. Yeah. Well, you know, with the what? regular Keurig, you can get K-cups? you know pods from any vendor. Some yeah. of them sell for a lot less, or you can get even your own <laughs> refillable pods. Well, Keurig and their 2.0 brewers is going to have a lockout device. What I've heard so far is they think it's going to be a camera that actually scans the label on the pod, and the pod's going to have some sort of um, hologram on it that is similar to uh, some of the anti... Um, uh, 
counterfeit measures that are on the new uh, bills and everything. So you could only use you their only use their, their pods. pods. I predict within 24 hours there will be videos on YouTube yeah. of how to disable. <laughs> yeah, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure people are going <laughs> to find ways on the to get CD around it. When yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this this kind of takes me off because it's like the same kind of DRM that uh, razor blade manufacturers and even worse uh, inkjet printer and um, you know laser uh, mm. printer toner and ink and all that stuff. Yeah. They want you locked in where you're going to buy their stuff. You're not mm -hmm. going to use refills. Now, there is a marketing angle for it that I understand. They usually sell the main device at a loss to make up the money with the um, Right, so we get the cheaper. Yeah. But the thing is that it, it makes me think about, like, what is real ownership in a case like this? Do you really own this Keurig coffee maker when they force you to use a certain kind of pod? Like, if it's your coffee maker, you should be able to run hot water through anything you choose. Whether it's you know a what pod I think or a hand your own. or mm -hmm. what? We'll never know. By the TikTok! Okay, that was the pre rebel pre rebel pre rebel Thank you, Kale. Um, by the way, I'm going to be going hardcore when the bell rings. We're stopping. TikTok! <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Shut the f*** up. <laughs> Mark! Okay, so uh, when the bell rings, we're done. We're moving on. Okay, oh, all right. Whatever. It's time for intro to Supernatural. You know, uh, I'm not going to you. Yeah, I know. Supernatural is... Uh, There's two brothers. Anything and they go in this, they go around no, the country no, and no, kill demons. No, and oh. it's not actually, it's not really the supernatural as it is, which is more religious demons. It's more of the paranormal. But I did superheroes the week before or the time before us. No, supernatural. supernatural works. So it works. This is my, part two of my super series. And uh, oh, and how long is this series gonna go? <laughs> Are you gonna do what's I, next? Super I, salad? <laughs> Ooh, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, that was pretty good. Uh, okay, so <laughs> Joey super Side Chub validation. Super, super Fuzz. <laughs> super Fuzz. We're really blowing your time here. Yeah, you are a bastard. No, well, no, it's all our time now. So hey, what, what do we mean by supernatural? We mean the paranormal, anything <clears throat> that uh, goes beyond or behind natural? science. <laughs> behind so what do you guys think of the supernatural or paranormal? What's it mean to you? Well, I'll just start out by saying that, um, you know, it's, 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 I'm still got a little bit of TikTok left. I'm sorry. How's your thrifty pension going on? That's the last segment. Oh, yeah. Um, Thank you. No, so really, um, things become uh, part of the natural universe once we can prove that they exist. So I think that something that's considered supernatural at one time can become part of the natural you know i don't think they come into existence perfect. as you think of them though but but just because you um have something unexplainable or unknown you don't you're not given license to just fill in your own backstory like oh that's unknown because god put it there well no it's unknown because it's unknown but once we find an explanation for it then it can become part of the natural universe and you know supernatural just means it's either as of yet unexplained or never existed <laughs> at all so dark matter is supernatural. Like my fan. Uh -huh. Because it's part of the theory. Then the thing is that you'll be eventually when the the dark matter is found and we know what it actually is, it's part of the natural universe. So far, the theory. So right now, it doesn't exist. But that's right? but no, no that's dark a good matter point. exists. They've proven that dark matter and dark energy well, exist. They, they we just don't know what they go, are. Go around it. So uh, according to the definition, I'm here. We're actually supernatural. Because 96% of the universe is made up of dark energy and dark matter. So in that respect, we're kind of the unique ones. Well, I think we're all unique. I'm not unique. I, like, I am not unique. I just wanted to clarify that. I, I, like, I am not unique. He's unique. Is your unique? <laughs> so uh, I think, super, but I think what we're saying is that there, when we get into science, supernatural is something that doesn't even have a theory that works. For the most part, because dark matter isn't supernatural. That's not something we would cover today. It's not even in the most supernatural is not even in the realm of science. And I think for the most part, when science has tried to explain supernatural, it's uh, it hasn't been able to. It's it's I would say the supernatural, the paranormal are how people see things that aren't explained and the stories they make of them. Right. I, Caleb, why don't you I, go off of that? No, I agree with that. That's definitely uh, what people they can't explain things. And so it's it becomes supernatural. And because people cannot stand to not have an explanation, they make one up. Uh, well, that's what just human nature. We fill in the blanks. Right, our exactly. Fill in the blanks and stuff. We model. We're pat yeah. Yeah, pattern Making recognition yeah, software it, in our brain. But yeah, yeah, I mean, we I had a narrative. Supernatural and paranormal has created some great legends, though. Yeah. 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 Including legends. Okay, moving on to ghosts. 
Yes, do ghosts exist? The uh, ghost sightings, belief in spirits, ghost huntings. Uh, you can run into almost anyone who said, Oh, I had an experience once where I saw... <laughs> Often they are very serious about it. Uh, we, we, we know some people who've said, you know, we've seen something. Ralph, for example, would say uh, at the Back to the Future ride, oh, there's a spirit there from a girl who died up in one of the, the cars. Like, okay, yeah. Because the door closed once. Is it a ghost? Yeah. I know, a I door have... that has an actuator on it that makes it closed. <laughs> yeah, it closed is... once. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. I, I had when I was when I was little. I, I I thought I was just, I guess probably just dreaming or seeing things as a kid. Was this old lady in a, like a purple like old dress upstairs in my parents' house, and I saw it just like go away, whatever, whatever. And then years later, um, I asked my mom. I said, "Have you seen the lady? They see a lady up there." And she and she told me, "Oh, in the purple dress." So it was kind of like we connected on it, but I. I don't know how to explain it. And that purple dress was brought to you by Nexium. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but but why, why do what? <laughs> like even the idea of ghosts. I mean, it's like something. Failure. Something. I know. If whatever. you watch the Ghost Hunters or any of those shows, you see something happen, something fall over, or something, then it's a ghost. Mm. And a lot of times on there, it's it's just. Us oh, oh my gosh, guys! It's my imagination. <laughs> well, it's just your it's See, that, doesn't, that doesn't make good TV. Yeah. yeah. What <laughs> I think is really yeah. fun is that. People go to these castles in like Germany, and they're and they're supposedly haunted, and they're talking to the ghosts in English. <laughs> yeah, and I'm wondering, wait a minute, in your Germany, shouldn't the German ghosts speak German? And what about the science behind the they idea of Google spirits? Or, Why do they have clothes on? Or like German I've from a few hundred yeah. years ago? <laughs> <laughs> like how come my clothes died with me? Well, you know, if you farted hard enough, I'm sure they would. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I think with the whole clothes thing, it's it's kind of like uh, uh, the Jedi's at the end of Return of the Jedi. Oh, it's, and stuff. Uh, it's, it's that last moment what what your spirit was was what in. was defining you as yeah. You. You know, if you've got an active imagination, you, like, die, and then your spirit comes back, and you're like, hey, baby, I'm John Holmes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and why are ghosts always bothering us? Why aren't they just sitting there? You know, it's like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> no, it's always like, oh, I'm scaring well, you. Well, you know, I, I, you know why the lights flicker, right? Yeah. Because what? ghosts are from, like, years ago like they're from ancient times or whatever before electricity so like oh my god oh my god look at this switch it's amazing this is awesome yeah, why don't you see the ghost going around going whoa <laughs> i've got i've got young ghosts on my house they're all ravers like, yeah. why aren't there any like caveman ghosts going because there's obviously more humans that died before we had into uh, uh civilization like millions of years of it well what i want to know is if there are ghosts then there's ghosts of everything and the most populous thing on this planet are bugs. <laughs> ghosts Why bugs, aren't yeah. we overrun by ghost bugs? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> ghost that been, bugs. Because they're that, ghost frogs. That would have been such oh. an, <laughs> that that an anti-climax that in Lord of the Rings. It's like, okay, the ghost ant army is going to come save you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, oh, here boy. they come. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly that's the sound. Goes. That's yeah. the sound. Ant-Man's what we totally make. have to do <laughs> is do. A, we gotta find a haunted house we can go to that's really supposed to be really haunted and go there and do a podcast there. Especially with Kale because he totally doesn't believe in any of this. So even when we're all scared, he'd just be like, whatever, whatever. It's just well, that's the thing. It's is, just is some dude over there with a gun. I, having come from a religious background before I became uh, aliens. Aliens. Oh, aliens. Before he became an alien. <laughs> no, no. I want to extend. Oh, okay, okay it is. All right. Because so, I want to talk about actually what we what really is going on when you think of you're seeing ghosts or hearing ghosts or being influenced or whatever. So what it is is that you are your brain is very good at making things up. You're very good at it. And when you're in the dark Thank you. You're you're primed to be <laughs> you're primed to be scared. He meant it as personal praise for you. <laughs> that was it. That uh, they actually. Warcraft? I'm losing my train of thought now. <laughs> your brain, well, uh, making your brain is well, making it, things up. Well, your right. senses it, are in. So the brain is making things up, and then you right. have to fill in makes the things up. Yeah. Right, yeah. and that's the and thing is, is that it's dark because we're because of our Paleolithic past. 
what we get is we're scared of the dark because usually there were things trying to kill us in the dark. So yeah. we're already primed Some to be scared in the dark. And we see people, we see faces. That's right. what our brain and does. If you, and everybody has caught something out of the corner of their eye. And they'll yeah. turn and look, and it's not there. But if you catch it out of the corner of your eye because you can't quite focus, you actually see things. What about when you turn your out of the corner of your eye and you look over and it is there? Well, then it's real. Yeah. There's actually an episode of, uh, I forget what it is. We'll try to put it in the show notes where it totally looks like there's a, a coffin with a, a ghost in it. But when they figure out what it is, your view changes. And you can't believe you didn't see what it really was in the first place, which is like yeah. a shadow of something. Well, and now I can't see what I originally saw in the yeah. first place. It's amazing how your mind changes when you realize what something is. Well, Captain Disillusion is really good at, at that. Some of the ghost things that people have posted. I know. And he totally it's debunks a bunk. them. It's a bug. And it's, them. it's a bug. <laughs> it's a bug. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bug. <laughs> yeah, those are really good. I always wanted to believe the ghosts were real and experience them, but, you know, it's... it's well, it's amazing how when I was a kid growing up, up, I thought that I saw aliens. Uh, so we're moving on to aliens, uh, UFO, alien UFOs. Because you guys heard from one of my last, or one of our last episodes out. UFOs is unidentified flying objects. It doesn't mean it's aliens. So we're talking about the alien ones. That old. How is that supernatural? Because it's a beyond nature, not UFOs, alien UFOs. Well, if it's life, that's not supernatural. Well, that's just it. It's, it's presumably. But presumably. we don't know about it. There's never been any proof that it's here. So that's, it's, that's why it's supernatural, right? Well, yeah, I think that it, They're very it, super. technically he's right. It's not supernatural. But if it exists. it is because <clears throat> it's well, people well, that's imagine why I'm they saying. see aliens. That's why I'm saying. I didn't finish because I interrupted myself. Alien UFOs, alien visitation abductions, ancient aliens. We're not talking about the concept right. of aliens being existing right. somewhere out there. Can We're I talking about a, them visiting Can Earth. I pose a question? Yes. Sure. Go why? ahead, Paul. Do aliens probe people's asses all the time? <laughs> Wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm just looking at <laughs> I mean, you got that kind Why of technology. You know? Harriet, we've been traveling for 10,000 years. <laughs> Let's probe something. Yeah. Harriet the alien. Is, Harriet we the got alien. a hole in our <laughs> ear. Is this, hole a, in our is this a sitcom? Hole in our mouth the back Why in the too, butt? No? <laughs> you want to probe like your pee hole? Well, I mean, why up your butt? <laughs> Okay, I don't know. It's where would you? Okay, accessible. where would you? Well, I would. I want probe it. They'd have like a scanning thing for their. That head. is. That is. That is kind of. Why good do they just point. stick something? You up think they'd bucket? have something with the way technology is going for us? You think they'd have something well, less intrusive? This is part of tying in. <laughs> we do how, that. How it's kind of a supernatural. Do you thing stick stuff up your butt? Uh, in oh. in We're you know, <laughs> ancient lore, there were things about like angels and demons visiting people in the middle of the night and stuff like this. So like whatever the common lore is of the day tends to. You know, supernatural exactly. meetings tend to be explained by what's popular in the culture. So, like, now, instead of being visited by angels, demons, and succubi, people oh are being visited <laughs> by probing aliens. Oh They're my, having oh the my. same kind of sexual oh experience. My. So, so I think the probes <laughs> is explained by people being a little, you know, kind of like, hey, the, where does my imagination go? Straight well, away. It's, 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 know, your ass. it's the na notion of, viola you know, being violated as well, because we have, right. that's a good point. How could yeah. you develop faster than light or light technologies travel <laughs> between the stars and go, you know, we need to... Six 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 there, are these, there are these races of people. We we can't, you know, x-ray them. We haven't discovered x-rays. We got to stop in their ass. You know? That is their x-ray. Uh, go to get an x-ray day. Damn, We're I need so, x-rays. We're budget cuts. Uh, you know, so, so, so this is going to be uncomfortable. Well, so Your friends won't believe you. I was just supposed to say, this is like aliens that come to our planet because they're like, all right, we're going to make it glow from the inside, we should, baby. We talk to Whitley Strieber and well, yeah. walks around like, oh, f me, you know, <laughs> you're not busy, you know, I farted. Busy. Like, so you know, they stuck something up well, his ass a couple times. He's gonna. Yeah. Be well, no. And around Willie Strieber wrote a book called Communion, which uh -huh. Eddie and I were totally into reading when yes. we were uh, in high school. We thought there were we were going to be abducted by aliens and all this mm -hmm. stuff. It's very realistic. It's but very, very, they wanted to be. They each other to right. try it. We did. No, we did. Right. But no, no can you do a walk in impersonation for us? It's amazing. Once I just laid there. It's amazing how many people walk in impersonation for us. Eddie, go. That's just. Crazy. All right, it's better than yours. So it is. <laughs> so uh, what was what's cool is that we always thought we were going to be abducted by aliens, and we never were. But there's people out there who actually say, "Oh, I've been abducted by aliens," and they really believe it because of him. Well, here's the explanation abducted. of the reality. Well, I, of I, 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 I like the explanation. Yeah. Go. Okay, 
the explanation is it's uh, Daryl and I have talked about it. It's uh, sleep paralysis. Yeah. Oh, and dude, a I, lot of people have that. I, I've I, had it happen to that. me too. You get that buzzing in your ear and stuff, yeah. and you think there's black well, creatures you, around you. You can't move. You can't move. Yeah, and you're laying yeah. there, and you feel like there's a pressure on Moving your chest. Right. Yeah. And so people about. in the old days, like Daryl said, were thinking it's it's demons or it's ghosts or something like that. I also see that. Imagine you're tied down. Creature report. Creature report. Nobody gets that. But now they're not watching uh, Disney Junior. Yeah. Okay. Cryptozoology, mythical creatures, beasts, oh, monsters yes. in the closets, demons and devils. Go, Paul, because I know you want to talk about this. No, I want to talk about the chupacabra, the mythical Chupa? beast, the goat sucker, <laughs> <laughs> the one from South America. Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so I was reading this article on what they really believe the chupacabra is. Is um wild dogs or coyotes and stuff that have mange right and so they or they get these mites on them that like just get scabies all mm -hmm. over them and stuff and that's what makes them look so chupacabra like well you and, also and see they're, so, the they're so weak that they can't hunt animals so they go after livestock after, right and they go mm -hmm. after usually injured yeah uh, and, and then that, weak animals i seem to remember sick. that they they proved how uh in it's like inflammation of the dead carcass and uh, then followed by uh, insects coming in can cause what looks like surgical cuts and all the blood being yeah. drained out when it's it's just natural. They like had a video of it happening mm -hmm. to us. That's uh, interesting because like you're explaining the chupacabra, you're also explaining how people find mutilated livestock. Yeah, right. Yeah. That, back which is often done by predators. You know, like, or like, oh my gosh, they sucked the brains out and took all the intestines. It's like, or, well, or some animal ate those parts. Or, or it's yeah. like South Park. What about the mutilated cows? Oh, that was Bob. Yeah, sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but what about uh, Bigfoot? That's huge right now. Yeah, yeah. They're still trying to find him. <laughs> still. Uh, nine foot tall walking. And they haven't found any poop? Well, there's only one, I guess. Yeah. Maybe two. <laughs> but they've not, been around not, for not a whole species yeah. out there chilling. That is such <laughs> bullshit. I mean, seriously. <laughs> seriously. Yeah, that, mean, gets lo that gets lost. But, you know, it's a good thing we don't lose big things like poop. And then, and then there's, they hear the... <laughs> they hear the... <laughs> they hear the <laughs> they hear, and they're like, that's... Bigfoot! The last Bigfoot Somebody's sighting that I saw was the uh, Monster Truck Rally. <laughs> oh, uh, That's Bigfoot and, and the Muscle machines. machines! The Big Bad Dude is mean! mean. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, the... Uh, I, don't know, I said Monster in the Closet because there's a whole Legends of Boogeyman. Dude, I got one of those stuff. uh, stuffed animals at home. I think, in the closet. Yeah, I, think, I think a lot of it comes from when we're kids, really, and then we grow up and... I mean, yeah. cryptozoology is actually a science because you do find things like the giant squid. I mean, it does exist, <clears throat> but most of them are wackos who are looking for Bigfoot and Bombadil Snowman. And well, monsters. you know, I heard recently that uh, there's this <coughs> film that has been taken of a sighting of Jesus. I and know. It's like a Bigfoot <laughs> sighting of right. Jesus. But it's not clear, but they actually got it. Maybe if, if Maybe we can, we'll try we'll to find that. that yeah. try to That's find because, that. you know, 2,000 years ago, they had video cameras. <laughs> no, no, no. Jesus oh, is a really? He's, now. he's come back. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because he said saying. he was going to maybe yeah, do that. that wow. down in Hollywood? <laughs> I don't know. Let's say Seuss. So in 100 years, there's going to be a holocaust on Elvis. <laughs> I like that. I'd buy that for a dollar. What about dragons? <laughs> dragons rock. Dragons rock. Freak dragons. You know, there's there's two different ways to look at this. There's the one where people really believe this stuff, and then there's the idea where it's just so cool that you like kind of, you know they don't exist, but you kind of have a following, which is like yeah. dragons. And we can even put zombies vampires. in this area, vampires. Well, you remember a while ago, it was on uh, like the Learning Channel or something like that, where they had that dragon program. It was the best I'd ever seen. Oh, they that was awesome. They treated it like, like it was real. real. And they showed how it could fly because and it has the hydrogen in its, yeah, in its belly yeah. to help well, the flames. And it was Awesome. Sometimes yeah. uh, these things are more interesting in what they can teach us about humanity and how folklore gets started. Because um, although this is not exactly proven, there is some evidence that um, drag dragon legends could come from things like natural gas le leaks in cave systems. Ah, interesting. And, and what would happen in that kind of case is if someone goes exploring in there and you know trips and falls or causes a spark or something, they might have <laughs> they might see flames come out of the cave. Oh! ESP. ESP! Oh, this is great! Telepathy, ESP, telekinesis, ESP2, ESP Ocho, ESP News. Oh, wait, wrong channel. Uh, I knew he was going to say Prophets or mediums. <laughs> uh, so uh, we were watching the uh, South Beach, pro what was it, medium? <laughs> at, uh, oh, uh, it's, your wife was watching it. Yeah. Long Island. Long Island. Oh, oh my yeah. God, those things are so horrible. Uh, 
I can talk to the dead. And who was the big famous one? No, John Keanu. Edwards? No, you can't. John <laughs> oh, and, uh, I can talk to the dead. Who was the, who was the Jamaican lady? <laughs> Miss Matt, Cleo. Miss Cleo. Cleo. Really? Yeah. Is she still in prison? I, I, I don't know, Edward, but that's yeah. a great, well, it, it was, it, it, it's a great it, it, business model. Ask Cleo. You tell people <laughs> the future, you don't need to be right. Yeah, but, no. But oh, wait, wait, if, you, if you talk about, if you listen to what people call her about, it's like relationships and stuff, and basically... You know, it's do this or do that. It's not. She's not really predicting yeah. the future. Don't worry, she's you will. Somebody's advice. coming your way. You're uh -huh. finding love. It could be ten years from now. Yeah. It's, it's and, then, and you go. Have and I you remember. Yeah. And it's uh, what's that called? Uh, confirmation. Bias. Confirmation bias, where you remember the things. You remember the hits, and you forget the misses. Yeah, because that's the thing yeah. with mediums. You know, it's uh, the when we were watching the thing. The medium, uh, she's like, the the medium said. Uh, I'm thinking I'm seeing someone in a dress and and the, the lady goes oh uh, it's a she's what, is it a muumu she used to wear muumus she's like yes it's a muumu then later in the interview she's like she knew that my aunt wear muumus nobody knew that right. and it was right there it was yelling she screen. gave she it, just to told her. it to her yeah. oh and in addition to that you know just <clears throat> you cold, felt that cold yeah. reading <laughs> and the yeah, first time the net yes. really wide it's wide he has like veins there, pop out of his neck there are um oh my god I burst a lot of these people who also just like have um like scabs in the audience we're like they'll be outside just like you know we're all waiting in line to see john edwards or whatever right well they <laughs> oh you mean scabs i was seeing people with scabs on yeah. 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 you sir you you, you got a problem the, scab. the thing is like, here. i tell the stranger <laughs> there's gonna be spiders i hail you <laughs> Go ahead, Daryl. I could serious. be standing in line with the rest of you guys and just strike up a normal conversation. You're telling me stuff about where you grew up uh, and all this stuff. Then I go back and talk to John Edwards pre-show. I'm like, hey, there's going to be some guy in a black Firefly t-shirt. He's hot. And yeah, <laughs> aside from that, though, he says he lived in Temple City and like all this other stuff. Then Did you know, when John Edwards comes out and like starts getting all these hits, it's like, oh my God, how would you ever know that? Mm -hmm. What's the well, wasn't uh, that religious like that? Yes, thank movie? you. I was gonna bring well, well not religious oh, movie. That it actually happened. They discovered. I think Pat Robertson did, doing that. He had a oh yeah the yeah. earpiece yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. earpiece and, and like, they picked up on the row frequency. Two, row, yeah, right, right, but there was right. some like comedy or something where they were doing like they were healing people. <laughs> that, and that comedy was based off oh, of reality. Uh, yeah. What about uh, what about uh, the the group that's trying to prove it'll give a million dollars so they can prove telekinesis oh, yeah, or uh, the, uh, tele the telepathy. It's uh, James the, Randi Education. Yeah, Foundation. James Randi, and no one's Education been able to prove it. Foundation, because they always say, "Oh, it can't, doesn't work when there's cameras in the room." Yeah. Or, or one, Zoom, <laughs> Zoom, <laughs> Zoom. Hey, did you say it? it said no, he, he mumbled. Said, he mumbled, right. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. <laughs> Dude, stop being a. Where's the her? Baby. <laughs> We're PG-13, damn it! <laughs> this is gonna be one... One beep! You know what? I thought, we, I thought this show Jerry would be Springer. like a candidate instead of Donahue, but no, there's no way we can fill it. Dude, my ass, <laughs> you. My ass is like... We have, we have swamp ass right now? Oh my god. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Okay, uh, telekinesis... Well, there, I mean, there's not much to this. There's, it's never been proven for telekinesis, and it's just something fun to look at. Prophets and mediums are dumb. Show me telekinesis. Well, also, it's fun to look at. Show it to me. It's for fakeness. Out there we go. All right, uh, magic! Magic! Oh, Witchcraft! Dude. Black magic! New yes, age! Yes, I want to talk about... Go ahead, go, go, go! Oh, it's hey. something to do with you, because I had to bring it up to my boy, because we're sitting in the car, it's raining, and he starts bringing up Ouija boards. Oh, Ouija uh -huh. board. And, and it's like, okay, his mom's against it because she's religious. It, according to her, using a Ouija board is like going into hell oh God, and yes. picking, saying, my Parker Brothers. hey, you, and hey, you, and hell, my Parker coming, coming back up. That would be a good game. <laughs> DMV, Go to hell, yeah. my Parker Brothers. Start at the DMV and then, you know, take the test. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, and then I was like, okay, do I ruin his childhood by explaining that it's like ideomotor psychology? <laughs> and I, I ended up caving because he kept bugging me about Video it. Video motor effect? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so if, if you're going to be in like a, if you're going to use a Ouija board, make sure two other people are there. Uh, if they want to close their eyes, you can open your eyes, but just just don't laugh. Just Use the they, scientific they, method, they damn it. To, they need to believe it for it to be funny, okay? So just go with <laughs> oh, it. Oh, for it to be funny. <laughs> yeah, just, just go with it. And re I'm sorry I spoiled your childhood, but that's the It's not spoiling so. childhood. It's bringing up rational thinkers. Yeah. yeah. I, um, I totally. Yeah, but Paul and I. The fear. How did that 
that board? How did the, pl- the piece of plastic know that, you know, I'm just going to pop out of this? <laughs> exactly, well, yeah. and, and you can always say, this is how I feel. You figure it out on your own. Now, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm going to tell Wesley. Um, that's true. Paul and I figured it out on our own. We had a friend, Al, who was Al. from the yes, spirit Al world. The demon. And we, we spoke to him. He's and He's going to take us to Narnia. Yeah, and he said it. <laughs> and he said he was going to. Love shelter at Longden School <laughs> on a Saturday afternoon. Hey, and all like, showed up. We went there and nothing happened. And was it a spirit or a demon? Because that's it was a sp- I thought it was a demon. We don't know. Spirit. Are you yeah, evil? Yeah, you really thought. Yeah, I remember. You know, what that's that. kind of stupid <clears throat> when you hey, on a Ouija board say, "Are you evil?" Like it's really gonna go yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> and what about the oh. name Al? Like, I'm okay, Al. let's do something easy because you know. <laughs> yeah. Why, why, why was it Bartholomew? Bartholomew? Too many letters. Why was it Bartholomew? <laughs> we wouldn't Bart- even know how to spell it. Or, or the demon that was in the yeah. Exorcist, Pazuzu. Yeah. yeah. They can't even spell its own That's name. That's the only name we both knew how to spell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know what Ali oh. does my taxes. Now, you do um, taxes, demon? People are really scared of magic, the black magic and uh, witchcraft and stuff like that. But I know that there's oh, also yeah, like people who believe in like good witchcraft and use that kind of spiritual, uh, like new agey Sinatra. type feel. Yeah, but both of it is bunk. <laughs> oh Yeah, pretty much. That's the whole point is just you can't prove it. And after all these generations, there's still not proof. I think you better believe maybe it's not real. You know? uh, that's reasonable. Well, if you drown a person in a lake and they die, they were in a they were mm-hmm. in a witch. But if they come up, they're a witch. <laughs> but if they float, then you have to burn them. No, they were wearing they were wearing that advanced technology. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an aqua gill or something. Yeah. So uh, there's a, there's kind of a premise that's bothering me here. It's just that you know, just because it hasn't been proven yet, does that mean it never will be proven? No, because no, that's because, the whole point. Because you know, lightning was supernatural is, for a long time too, and then what? Like, well, that comes lightning. to but we, oh, comes but to, we all see a lot of this stuff. We is not see like, okay, that comes to open mindedness, and I think that like a lot of people claim that. Uh, those who are rational thinkers and have a scientific mind are closed-minded because we don't want to see the validity in something like Bigfoot or or magic or something like that. We want to see proof of it. But the thing is, I think that um, people who are true to the scientific form are open-minded because you you have to realize that as much as I believe in science saying this is true and that is true, you would change your mind if enough evidence were presented. Honestly, that's, that's true. Yeah, that's what Any of this I, that I think is also bunk, I would totally be, as soon as they show me evidence that makes sense, that goes, to get, that goes together, scientific uh, method, I'd be like, okay, Bigfoot, there, right. there it is. Right. Well, see, and also, like someone finds the so damn what's thing, up? Like, no! Oh, I, okay, yeah. so going on that, I've seen proof on Ghost Hunter, sure. I've seen proof so. on Ghost okay, Hunters. Extend. Okay. You watch that show. Yeah, you've proof. seen what the hell evidence. is that? You've seen evidence. not proof, evidence. Not proof. And evidence. the thing I've is, there's even evidence. been parts on on Ghost Hunters where you sure you saw something, and it was the banister rail. You know, mm-hmm. and after I saw that, I was like, I was so sure that was something else, and it wasn't. But here's another thing too: you have to rely on yeah, and that's the yeah. trustworthiness of the producers that mm-hmm. they're not just editing the crap out of this stuff to make that's it. That's the other thing. Too. And then there's yeah. this one thing with Grant, right? Grant was faking it. Yeah, and yeah. that's why he left. Apparently, Paul had some inside yeah. information on that, Thank so. You. That's why he's no longer part of the show. Well, it's, it's, well, it's a great, it it's a great idea. Ghost show shows, I love them. On. I love ghost shows because you just need, especially with the Miz. People to yes, the, the Miz. <laughs> A what? That's it. It's yeah. Oh, uh, on, on the Halloween uh, episode, the live that's, episode, they had a guest star on uh, the Miz. Was there really? The Miz was there yeah. for a live episode. I was like, "What the hell is this guy doing here?" <laughs> this is a joke. And it was hilarious. stupid. Well, see, so, they needed the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, when you were saying funny. about uh, you know good that it could be yeah. true in the future, the one thing that I think lends itself to be likely is energy. That there's yeah, positive and negative saying. energy, and that sometimes you walk into a room and you feel this negativeness, and a lot of people start hallucinating and and believing that they're seeing things because of this negative energy. There might be some sort of negative there, energy, and it could maybe not even energy. Maybe it's fair, some you, sort of maybe entanglement. It's, maybe it's like, but maybe it's like pheromones or something. But like, like that. I said, one thing to point out is this is not true. What I'm saying here, I do not believe. I'm just saying it sounds like it it's could not lead even a, somewhere. It, the thing is, it's not even a theory. It's no, a, it's, it's not. a hypothesis of a possibility. What, I'm just saying it to point out that that's somewhere we could go hunt. We could go yeah. actually look for. And if we can detect the entanglement of negative yeah. energy, then we could prove something. Well, what I well, say about that is that you know anything that's quote an energy should be measurable somehow. That's should what be. I'm saying. So Let's talk be. about myth, baby. Well, if it's not measurable, no, stop, it's stop, not there. stop, 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 stop. Right. Because you can't measure, measure it now, doesn't mean you can't room. measure it in the future. Okay, myths. Okay, you guys both have true. a timeout right now. <laughs> Shut the hell up. 
All right, myth. What if it's a part of unfounded beliefs? You fool! It's a Joey and Paul show. Myths, unfounded beliefs, modern viral information, religion, myths. Basically, uh, I think the big one here is religion for uh, most of us. But any type of unfounded belief that's a myth. I mean, back in uh, Roman and Greek times, they had their religions, which are now myths to us. Uh, Kel, you come from a Mormon background. You've been demormonized. Why don't you go off this one now right now? I can prove it, too. Whoa! Don't bring Joseph Smith out of it. <laughs> don't show us the yellow heat. So, <laughs> not before you've wiped Things that were believed. No, it's Zeus. Are now. <laughs> Linda calls it Zeus. Jupiter. Oh, no, Mr. I Happy. call it Jupiter. What am I doing? No, Mr. Happy I'm not going to talk to your Zeus. penis anymore. Okay. Yes. Your okay. Penis. Tonight. Go ahead. Tonight. Say what you're going to say again. I was going to say something, and I don't know what it was. You oh, were demormonized. Myths once were believed. Yes. But they're myths. So, right. today, Mormons, Christianity. Well, see, offered. the one, one thing that I. I now understand is that when you you have to have some sort of proof and if people are saying oh I believe this because when I was a kid I stood up in the meeting and you know and saying I know that the church is true I did not know nobody knows it's emotion the problem is people think that their emotions are a guide to truth and they're not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nicely said. You can feel the emotion. You can't feel the truth. Exactly. I think that That's being good. said is that you, you, people have a right to their beliefs, though. Exactly. You can believe what you oh, want to believe, but you also have to allow others. But it doesn't to mean you're right. Beliefs. Right. There is right. an objective reality. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm saying that like. This, that's one thing that I think this country got really right is that you have the freedom to believe whatever religion you want. So that means that one religion doesn't crowd out all the others even though you know matter of factly we kind of mm -hmm. have that in a way um but it, you know just even though we want to th we here present want to be rational thinkers I, I don't think that it has anything to say to what people ought to should believe you're free to believe what you want right that's that's true but i what i'm hoping is that people can can all agree to be secular because it protects us all, mm. not just atheists or or uh, or Christians or Muslims. When you have a secular society where it, church and state are separate, then nobody can oppress anybody else, and that's the point. Well, that's optimistic. Well, yeah, you can, it is optimistic. I want there can be non-religious yeah. oppression too. <laughs> yeah. So well, that's why no saying. religion in North Korea. That's why it needs to be secular. Yeah. Well, um, I think in principle, you're hitting upon something that, that I would agree with, is that um, you shouldn't have theistic rule. Should, what? Should not have theistic rule. Oh, that, right, right, right. You know, because basically, That's what it was if, you, like the old if you expect people to, to respect your yeah. rights to believe in your religion, then, um, you know, if you, if you make that the rule of the land, then you're also going to open yourself up that what if someone else takes control with a different point of view and a different religion, then that's, they're going to be forcing the their point, religious yeah. beliefs on you. Mm -hmm. And so I think the idea should be we don't force religious beliefs upon one another. We just simply let <clears throat> live and let live. And we're, right. we're not saying get rid of religion because the fact is because you feel through things like religion, there's a lot of good and truth that comes out of religion. Um, but moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we got any sense. All right, yeah. conspiracy theories, the Illuminati, the secret government, men in black. Men in black is such a popular Thanks. term now because of the, yeah. That's, that, that kind of segues into myths because it's like you really can't prove any of them, but your mind creates a framework for them. Yes. And if it goes viral, like a myth, mm -hmm. like a wives' tale or something like that, like then it's change. like, well, okay. Yeah, and people are so like easy to believe things on the internet now, especially if, if it, it just sounds it good. Yeah. Someone has a, a a not a good argument, but a well put together or well sounding argument. Well, well, what bugs well me is when people don't have any argument at all. <laughs> they see something that they like, and then they repost it without yeah. checking if it's true. Well, it's like, like oh. the heart. The you heart can thing, fold yeah. up a dollar bill, so it looks like there's a plane flying into two times. You can yeah. also yeah. fold up like what? tits. Really? I, oh, really? Uh, I was going <laughs> to talk about that. I want to know how to fold that bill. Look, the airplane's <laughs> riding between two booms. <laughs> I love this. I love this. There's a that's uh, a penis. Friend of a friend. Tattoo artist. Why that matters, I don't know. But uh, it, I think it was on her MySpace Facebook. She uh, the eleven real terrorists: George Bush, Dick Cheney, so and so. And then beneath that, it said, 
there's a conspiracy behind 9-11. Somebody do something. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, do <Sorry>. it! <laughs> Paul! Paul, if you're listening, I won't mention names. I'm Danielle. working on it. I got it. He's got it. He's on page. What is it, 50 or two? Uh, t- uh, three. Three, okay. Somebody oh, I thought he was going to le- fart one out. <laughs> <laughs> he was leaning yeah, in that he's direction. Got yeah. He's got All three right. he's coming out of his ass, folks. Oh, I'll take care of him. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> so, yeah. But, <laughs> okay, so this is going to say that there haven't ever been real conspiracies, because conspiracies mm-hmm. do happen time to time. Well, They okay, tend to be either be very known. small, or they're actually, like, so out in the open that you can't really say they're hidden. But they're never, way. I think, overly complicated. Right. They, people make them so overly yeah, complicated. making them huge and secret, those are two, like, mutually <laughs> opposite. <laughs> That's my things. penis. And I think... Right. <laughs> we're glad... <laughs> we don't care about the first, we're glad in a second. I think when things are unexplained, <laughs> like, like, everyone assumes like, the government knows everything. <laughs> He's the new dick <laughs> joke guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the government has seen my penis. All right, thank you. Truth. Thank you, job, dick show guy. Uh, but Damn, yeah, they've seen still mine too. <laughs> <laughs> so the the Illuminati. Oh, the Illuminati. That was something that was real, but now it's become this <laughs> this huge thing that. And what's the the what part? the what part of the Illuminati? The, hedge, was the Hammer the, Guys. Illuminati. The Illuminati. Wait, what part? The of Hammer the Guys. Oh, Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, oh, Hammer the group, Brothers. The group of Hammer. Uh, making things. Blue Man Group. They've got a symbol, and oh, you're part Masons. of Masons. 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 Oh. We're playing like verbal charades. Oh, the Masons. 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 Mm-hmm. Can I? Can we answer that? What part what? of the Illuminati is from? Right. And we're running the world one. Wasn't Illuminati just a time. series of books written that was like a Thing theory about certain yeah. people being in power? I don't know. No, no. Actually, there. I, I haven't read the book because I haven't got it yet. But I'm going to buy there. It's uh, yeah, Secrets of the Illuminati, and what it is is the guy really researched back and found yeah. what was true and what was not. Yeah. And uh, so he found out there really was a group called the Illuminati started by uh, some guy in 1600s or 1400s, somewhere uh, around But they there. weren't anywhere as near as... No, and he was actually wrote the basic of what we're trying to do, but it never really grew from that. All right, let's talk about our last thing before we go into our conclusion, which is critical thinking. Uh, what we here at uh, Incoherent Ramblings... We don't believe in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, as, as you know, are never pussies. skeptical. <laughs> what the... <laughs> That's a good if you if you are a regular listener, <laughs> um, <laughs> all five of you, yeah, and we can, we have to Jam. kind of stop making those yeah. jokes because the We're listenership can. is growing. That's oh, true, yes. growing. Um, Put your boob away, Wesley is. Oh. Whoa! What? Hey, what? Why are you saying boob in my son's name in the same? Because Kim's feeding. I said. Kim, put your boob away. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, she's oh. listening. Yes, I got because she's the only one. But, but we don't <laughs> breastfeed because it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, that sounds like you a know, fallacy to me. You know how raw Joey's nipples got. <laughs> <laughs> I think Wesley. there was a problem with that. <laughs> oh, Kim was, Kim was supposed. Yeah. Oh, because Kim's listening. No wonder you've killer. got that red thing in your you eyes. No, Wesley's Joey stuff. Wesley's nipples were so. <laughs> no, it's the other way around. Oh, 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 right there. Other way we're out. So, <laughs> went there. <laughs> so the anyway, critical <laughs> thinking, <laughs> which is there isn't much going on here. <laughs> we are off the rails, and just why do I put critical thinking at the end? That should have been at the beginning. Hypocritical thinking. Yeah. Okay. So. So, uh, critical thinking, skeptics, the scientific method, logical fallacies. We've been talking about this all the way through this because we're not a bunch of people. I didn't choose the supernatural because, ooh, we are loving the supernatural beliefs. <laughs> I chose the supernatural. But you're Fox Mulder. You I know. Is. I used to want. No, but it's true. It's what Fox Mulder, I want to believe. Right. I do want to and believe. And I'm the same way. I want to see aliens. I want to see ghosts, but... I want to see I want Joey to see and them. Anderson. I want to fold them into the natural <laughs> own universe. I thought you said you wanted to see Joey and Joey and, and One thing with critical thinking is that each one of them now. <laughs> Go ahead, Paul. The age with critical thinking. The age we're now. Are raw, you know. I which, wonder what happened. Which is good and bad. Put your shirt is, down. We have more, more avenues now of getting information. So 
Okay, or before, I would say before, <laughs> before <laughs> uh, the internet and video yeah. and stuff, it would be like word of mouth. So people would believe stuff because if you tell me you believe something, I'm going to believe you. I trust Joey. I trust Eddie. You know, and I'm going to believe you. So back in the 1600s, 1700s, you looked it up, they didn't saw say something. Anything. I believe you too. I don't want to, we're running out of time here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, look. No, no, no. So no, no, no. the word of mouth would create these legends yeah, and I'm stuff. So yeah. now there's more more avenues that we can get more critical thinking because we get to more proof and well, can debunk But how things. much critical thinking is it still yeah, travel exactly. really fast. But, yeah, but could, the thing is... But there's an easier way to debunk it. Right, you can get that's very real information out it. there. Just Somebody at work tells me, oh yeah, the plane did this, and, you know, and the, right. the Malaysian plane, like, well, here's an article that says that, and I can right. give it to right. them. And then it becomes all 1984 where you don't know what's real! Yes. <laughs> Okay. Gotta peel away the layers. Yes, but I think I think it's important that like critical ogre, thinking is becoming something onion. that is <laughs> so, as a parfait. Shrek, Shrek, yeah, I got that. Well, with I all know the where parfait is with all the YouTube the... videos that yes. uh, like yeah. with uh, why parfait. people laugh at creationists. There's like they all these funny. different uh, videos that are on YouTube uh, are actually people can get the arguments that against all of the supernatural. And they can realize, well, that that is kind of silly. But evolution doesn't explain a banana in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> or would an alien put it there? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, it brings it back around. Oh, damn it. The, the oh. bottom line is, if your the beliefs are that strong on something, it's very hard to change that. It's very hard to break that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> banana in your ass. <laughs> it's very hard to break that if it's all the way up to the freaking stem. <laughs> you have experience wow. with this? Wow. <laughs> All right, guys. And that's let's, what it sounded like. Let's. Uh, we got four minutes to conclude here. Basically, I want. I want to kind of go around and get your opinion on how you feel about the supernatural, um, the way you've seen it over me. time. <laughs> And also, where do you think it's going? So I'll start. First of all, it's got a future, baby. <laughs> when I was a, when I was a kid, I, or well, I'll say in high school, I really wanted the supernatural to be real, and I really wanted to believe in aliens and hauntings. And now I've become more of a critical thinker, and I'm still like Paul said, I want to believe, but I, I know there has to be proof. And it would be great if some of the stuff you know appeared in front of me, but I'd be looking at it critically. I don't think there's going to be much of a f no. Bring out your dick. Um, I don't think there's going to be much of a future. <laughs> not in, this episode. Not this one. Okay. Uh, in superstition. Speaking of Sasquatch. But it will never go away completely. Okay. Eddie, go ahead. I think Daryl's right. It has a future because there's always going to be gaps in knowledge and those myths and urban legends and what have you. They're used to fill that. That being said. Um, those gaps in knowledge, just because we can't s prove something at the moment doesn't make it unbelievable or supernatural. We just can't discuss it. Um, where I want to conclude in is, I forgot what his name, Zen in the Art of Mo Motorcycle Razor. <laughs> oh, crap. Zen in the Art, not Motorcycle yeah. Maintenance, I know. that guy. I'm trying, I'm trying yeah. He brought check, up a really, check the show notes. He, he yeah. brought up a really good point in that a lot of uh, religion, a lot of superstition, it's based in doubt. So you don't have people protesting. Robert M. You know, Persing? Yes, Persing. Okay. Robert M. Persing brought up a great point. You know, it, a lot of that, these myths and stuff, they're religion founded around doubt. You don't have people outside protesting whether or not the sun's going to come up tomorrow. Because True. we're sure of that. Mm -hmm. There is a continual argument. There will be a continual argument on the existence of God and what have you, because it's something we really can't prove. What Until we can it comes prove out and goes, hey. Well, we can prove are gravitational <laughs> waves, you know, but, you know, <laughs> supernatural, <laughs> what's the universe explained? Yeah. I don't know, it's supernatural. It's, it's supernatural. A, you know, we can explain that. But anyways, okay. that's my little... Paul, part. go. Sounds um, like a commercial for supernatural lows. Well, I can get into all that. I was like Joey where I wanted to believe and, you know, critical thinking and whatever you want. But I just want to say, uh, it's brought out a lot of great shows. And a lot of great entertainment. I do like Ghost through, Hunters. Through the paranormal activity. I love um, ghost movies, uh, you know, zombies, uh, Especially UFOs, that Patrick Swayze aliens. One. That was Woo. so beautiful. I, know. <laughs> I, I cried. But what's great, too, like is I love, I love listening now to uh, arguments on proving it because it, it really hones my critical thinking skills because it makes me research it. So I think I've become a better critical thinker with paranormal because I'm kind of debunking what I, I guess what I wanted to believe as a kid. I'm going to call it a premature extent. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. All right, go ahead. All right. 
Um, I'm very uh, skeptical of the supernatural, of course. And uh, one of the things that uh, was posted on my Facebook page by a friend from high school, uh, posted this thing and it says, when you carry a Bible, the devil gets a headache. When you open it, he collapses. When he sees you reading it, he faints. I hear there's a video on this. When he sees you living it, he flees. And just when you're about to hit repost by hitting share, hitting share, <laughs> that sounded bad. <laughs> Beat Sonny. that bitch up. <laughs> uh, he will try to discourage you. you I just defeated him. Bono. Share this if you're a child of God. <laughs> share plus like if you love Jesus that's daily. The, and that sounds perverted too. So what did you do, Kale? <laughs> I'm not in the devil. Kale. Isn't the devil did I shout space? Jesus daily? So what did you do, Kale? Funny. Did you hit share? No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> what I did <laughs> was I made... You, you made his own. With the, with the I made Pussy's my own joke, that yeah. looks exactly like theirs, and it says, "When you put down the Bible, the devil ceases to exist. When you let go of superstitions, demons evaporate. When you stop scaring children with imaginary hells, they <laughs> smile more. When you know this is the only life you get, it becomes more precious. <sighs> and when you this makes sense to you, your religious convictions will discourage you from believing it. Boy, Don't yes. defeat yourself." Share this if you are free of the notion of sin. And then share plus like if you love humanity. <laughs> I just have a share. disagreement. There's, there's not an imaginary hell. They'll discover it when they get their driver's license. You, you, you kind of faded out there, didn't you? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, mean, I was like, I was oh, going, this is a bad joke. Oh, God. There's no comedy. There's no comedy. And we only Sorry. have one minute left. Yeah, we'll go. With the I, I, can I, can I ask about that hell? Yeah. The new, right. the new well. DMV down in El Monte is actually pretty nice. Okay, Daryl, go. <laughs> You know what I gotta say about you know, like you know, TV. don't hit share because someday you're the one who's gonna be hitting a tree. <laughs> oh! 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 No, he did! Oh, I farted again. <laughs> uh, we'll just have to edit that out. Anyway, um, I I'm in a wow. general agreement with everyone around here. I'm just uh, saying I wouldn't completely 100% rule out any of these notions that we currently say are supernatural because you know, one of the more plausible ones is you know having life somewhere else in the universe. Mm -hmm. Aliens could visit us someday. I mean, why not? It's a possibility. We could be visiting other life forms somewhere across the universe someday. So, you know, that, that one's pretty possible. And I wouldn't rule out things like ghosts either because there's this small possibility that there's stuff about the universe we just don't understand yet. We don't know how to measure it. We don't know how to detect it. Um, but <laughs> one like of the things my we do is... know... <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Extend. Extends One of the things we do know this is, is that people, people's brains do a lot of things to make sense of the world around them. We model things, we fill in gaps, we see patterns where, because you know, we try to. Um, and I think that those are a lot of the things that it help to explain a lot of the supernatural beliefs that are out there. And if you apply Occam's razor where you take the thing that's where you have to make the fewest assumptions to come to a plausible conclusion, things such as ghosts and whatever can be summed up by people's misperceptions a lot easier than by having some new realm of science that heretofore has not been even the least bit detected being a reality. So I think misconceptions kind of sums up what we're doing. And Daryl, that's why we end with you. You bring us back on the rails. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. And that's enough of an extent. Okay. All right. Yeah, we just did bonus <laughs> extents. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the supernatural. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Ooh, next week is supernatural. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Uh, is the Daryl's choice. What are we doing next week, Daryl? It will be vices. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's what I like. Well, so we'll be talking about things that uh, not just the Miami Cup. <laughs> Vices worldwide. So things that <laughs> things that are um, kind of taboo <laughs> and illegal. That's a combination. So uh, you know, drugs, narcotics, driving around naked, tea bagging. Yeah, you know. Oh, what um, was it? Uh, the rodeo uh, clown slide. <laughs> Rodeo clowns. The Brazilian bull ride. <laughs> Rodeo clown slide. I don't know where I came. Uh, oh, the Brazilian Jamaican, bull ride. Jamaican. Let's, Jamaican. No. Jamaican, Jamaican bull ride. We'll, we'll cover things like prostitution. Yeah. And, okay. You know, some stuff that people are kind of pushing to maybe you know legalize them or you know. Okay, that's good enough because yeah, so that, that's good because I've got swamp ass something bad. So let's All move right. on. All right. So thanks for joining us. Remember, you can reach us at uh, show at iamrambling.com. <clears throat> I'm Joey Shamel. 
Uh, Ed's Editorial. <laughs> it's not a stage name. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not. It's Russian. It's <laughs> Mediterranean. <laughs> And we have <laughs> Paul I'm Honiger. Glad, I'm glad I saw Gail that. Gail Anderson. <laughs> and Daryl George. And thanks for joining us today. Zoom. No, no. Zoom. Our saying. Oh, I want everybody to prepare so I can get to say it. Our saying is Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> we ramble incoherently. So you don't, don't have, have to. That's not it. Wait. What is it? We were, we're incoherent. We're incoherent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Edit all the top here. All right. Remember, we're incoherent, so you don't have to. Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on imrambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from incoherent ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Uh, is Daryl's choice. What are we doing next week, Daryl? Oh, my God. It's like Sophie's choice. <laughs> Seriously, you don't have anything? I forgot. You bitch! I didn't, it's my turn, is it? Yes, um, it is. All right, so um, anyone want to tell a joke while he's looking stuff up? Well. No, you know what? Like, um, can you bring up the trial? I'll, I'll do that for you. Damn it. I don't know. All of us. He's the only one who forgets. Damn. He's like the only one just, who forgets. I forgot it was my turn. My Zool, motherfucker! Zool! Zool. Uh, by the way, if you'd like to see that, we will put it on the show notes so you know what the oh, hell we're talking about. Oh, God damn. All right. Mm, uh, Paul, sing for us. <laughs> everybody, everybody, go hey, and sing happy sing. birthday to the president. No, just sing anything. Uh, uh, baby, when you're walking hell? down the street sing. looking for some love mm. from a dog. What? I Here don't go, know Carol. where I'm going out. I'm in no. a swamp no, yes, and I'm touching my the testicles yes, of a He can frog. move it over here. I like them swinging to and fro. I like them when they go, go, go. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, chocolate bandit, where you dip your balls into chocolate syrup and place them on one's eyes to create a bandit-like mask. It's watching the new Scooby-Doo movie, uh, WrestleMania Mystery, watching last night, and uh, so Shaggy and Scooby packed the mystery van to go to WrestleMania. I think we're going to have to jump over here, Gail. If Fred got to pack everyone's clothes, and they were all pissed off, and Daphne's like, you didn't pack our clothes, and Shaggy's like... Hold on, hold on! Don't. Okay, go on. So Shaggy says, we wear the same stuff every day anyways. (laughs) Daryl. That's true. That's pretty good. (laughs) 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 Well, time's up. Hold on, hold on. Eddie, are you going to be here next week? Do you know? Do you know? I don't know. You want to... If you've got something, why don't you take a bonus, and Daryl can have a week to figure out what the hell he's going to do. You got it? You got it? All right, all right. I got one. All right. Uh, Okay, so we're not breaking a stride. And so, Daryl, what is your choice for next week? It will be Vices.